Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review and testing video on the new Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. Now I did try and film this video the other day um, because I'd ordered this concealer online and they had sent me the wrong shade. So I was in the middle of filming the video and looked at the colour I had and realised it wasn't for me. So I've changed it got the right shade and I am in the shade medium light neutral for reference and I just thought that since the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer is so so talked about and everybody loves it including myself I thought that I'd try this one as well to see if it is just as good if not better. So before we get into the video subscribe to my channel click the button below whichever side it is I will figure it out one day so see where my fingers are there'll be a button press it and when you've pressed it You'll feel good about yourself. I am wearing the all nighter foundation today just to kind of, you know, keep in the spirit. And this is what the packaging looks like. It literally looks just like the foundation, but in concealer form. You can see the two of them next to each other. They're basically the same, but this is just a baby. Now this is supposed to be a matte finish. It's supposed to have 24 hour wear. I'm not gonna wear it for 24 hours. I think that's incredibly unhygienic, so I won't be doing that. And I don't recommend anyone else do it either. So now that's out of the way, this is what the applicator looks like. So it's, a doe foot applicator as opposed to that double sided paddle like a spatula which I actually prefer the paddle I don't know why I just find it to apply a lot nicer but okay no problem so I'm just applying to one side it's a lot thicker than the um, naked skin and a lot drier and I don't necessarily mean that in a bad way um, but it is a lot drier I'm just using my Morphe white 11 brush to blend that out yeah, because it is so dry, you need to blend it straight away. I wouldn't sort of sit around, you know, go for dinner, do the grocery shopping with it still on before you've blended it because it will stick. Yeah, that is super full coverage. You can see the difference in between my eyes. This is dark and lacklustre. This is bright and beautiful. I didn't take much blending into the skin either. And I'm looking and it hasn't seemed to instantly crease, which is really good. It is definitely a matte finish, but it doesn't look dry. Let's do the other eye. I will point out, I really don't like this applicator. Um, I do much prefer a larger applicator. I think I'm just used to the Tarte Shape Tape, you know, the Makeup Revolution one, the original Naked Skin Concealer. And I don't like such a small, you know, So I've blended both sides in and they both look really, really nice. It hasn't creased yet or anything and I've been putting this on obviously. Normally in between blending concealers, my concealer creases on the side that I'm not working on. So this is really good. I imagine it will have really good longevity. But I'm just gonna set it down now using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder like I set all my concealers with. So I've just zoomed you in a little bit and you can see it has really, you know, covered any dark circles. It doesn't seem to be creasing or anything, which is really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. All I used to do is my lower lashes and put a bit of highlighter on. And then I'll come back. Okay, so that is it all complete. But yeah, I'm really impressed with this concealer. Like, it's beautiful. I... Do I think it's better than the Urban Decay Naked Skin? I don't think it's better. I think it's just a case of preference. I think they are both really full coverage. I think this one leans more towards the matte side. So if you like a matte sort of airbrushed look, then this is probably what you'd go for. If you like it to look a little bit more healthy on the skin, you know, a bit more natural or one that you can use for both full coverage and for natural looks, then the naked skin is probably what you prefer. I haven't actually compared the two together, so I, I don't no, I believe I am the same shade in both concealers, but I will say that this one does seem to run a little bit darker. So it's worth checking your shade in store just so you know which is the right one because I think it does oxidize slightly like the Naked Skin Foundation does. Yeah, I give this concealer the thumbs up. If you want a matte concealer, full coverage, then go for it. Can't speak for the 24 hour wear, but hey, like I said before, don't do it anyway. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.